What is up you guys? Welcome to another Spade Shades video. Uh, for this video I'm going to be using the White Kings deck by Peter McKinnon and Daniel Madison. Uh, if you haven't gotten if you haven't gotten yourself one of these decks, I highly highly recommend it. This is like it's a very durable and rigid card. Um, the finish is very fine on them. They were specifically made for for um like gambling techniques and and slights and stuff. So and come on, dude, the deck box is totally gold, okay? A gold deck box. You just can't beat that, right? Uh, the white. This is the white. The White Kings deck by Daniel Madison and Peter McKinnon, uh, the official deck of both of them. So, what I'm going to show you guys today is the most classic force in Magic history. It is the Hindu Shuffle Force, okay? And if you don't know what a Hindu Shuffle is, it looks something like this. Okay, it's it's an overhand. Well, I don't know if you call it an overhand shuffle, but um, not well. No, the overhand shuffle is different, but it is kind of overhand in a way. Um, what you're doing, a quick little demo on it is you're just pulling off a few pack, a few cards, or a small packet from the top. Okay, and you can see how small that packet is. You're just pulling off, and that was even too big of a packet. You want to pull off just a couple cards because the ideal situation to do this is if someone's like um, instead of going, hey, you know, pick a card, pick a card, or whatever, because some of that, you know, that might get old for some people. Um, you can go, okay, you know, well, just tell me when to stop. And they say, well, you know, they let you go for a while. That's why you want to take small, small piece, uh, small, a uh, small amount of cards. Sorry, I lost my words there. Um, off the top, and they say stop. You say, okay, that's your card, right there. Just in case you didn't see it, I promise I can't see it. That's your card, okay? Now I think your card is right here. Let's see if I was right. I was not, but that's your card. I say no, and you say, well, you know what? Fine. You could have picked any card that you wanted, and that wasn't it either. You could have picked any card that you wanted, and it, it's really fine if you picked any card. I just I, I want to be sure that you didn't pick the King of Club, the King of Clubs. Okay. Whoa, whoa! I, I did pick the King of Clubs. Oh, gee, okay. Um, <clears throat> and that's the kind of situation it would go in. And you could even say, you know, okay, tell me when to stop. Whatever they say, stop. You say, okay, that's your card. You go through. All right, I want you to shuffle the deck. You know, as many times as you want. Go for it. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. They give the deck a couple cuts, okay? I don't want to actually do a um, a riffle shuffle with these just because I don't really want to bend them. Um, but they give a couple cuts. Maybe they do a... Maybe if they know how to, they'll do like a swivel cut or a swing cut. Side note, if you try to do this kind of force to a magician, they're going to catch you, okay? Because it's such an obvious force. And if you haven't caught it yet, don't worry. I'm going to get into a tutorial. I just want to give you a long little intro and, and and ways to use this force because it would take it takes longer to tell you how to use it than to explain it okay so they give the they give the cards a couple cuts and you spread them out and you say okay you picked any card that you wanted to you shuffle the deck as many times as you want and I can tell you that your card is right here every single time they know exactly what your card is or you know exactly what their card is because it's a force okay so I'll show you how to do it once again the hardest part is knowing how to do a Hindu shuffle um, if you don't know how to do a Hindu shuffle I just showed you go back and watch it okay but anyways you grab a couple cards off the top just every now and then and you're just you're grabbing them with your middle finger and your thumb and you're just letting them fall into a mechanic script okay the mechanic oh you don't want to lose cards like that, but you're letting them fall into mechanic trip. And they say stop, and you show them the bottom card. This is the slick part. Before you even do it, you could probably see it. Well, don't you don't drop the cards, but you could probably see probably see me do it um, several times. If you rerun the video, you can watch me doing this. Is talking like this, and when I'm talking like this, I break eye contact with them for a second, and I glimpse this card. The four of spades, okay? Glimpse this card, the nine of hearts, okay? You glimpse it and you just put it back in this hand. Get into the position, okay? 
and you just start doing this and I promise I promise you nine times out of ten they are not going to realize especially if you do it quickly like here okay alright look that's your card that's your card show your friends throw it back on top and be done with it and you already know that their card is the nine of hearts okay now you don't want to go slow with it you don't want to do this number and then like okay that's your card and if you think you have to kind of feel the person out in a way before you do this because if you think if you if you go like this if you do if you do this earlier in like a routine or something and they pick a really early card or you think that they're just the type that's going to say stop like almost immediately after you start doing it this looks a lot more obvious than this does okay because this is a small amount of cards it just looks less obvious okay so if you just if you want to be safe I really bent that I bent that nine of spades a little bit. If you want to be safe with it and you want to grab off larger chunks, usually what I do, I just grab some large chunks to start with until I get about half the deck. And then I start grabbing small packets because it doesn't matter when they say stop now. Okay? So they say stop and you know that their card is a nine of spades. They can shuffle it as many times as they want. You can have them put it back in the deck box, be free with it. You can pull out your invisible deck and reveal their card in an invisible deck you can do whatever you want this force is the basis for so many card tricks and the door is wide open once you learn this force and just can do it effectively and when you're gonna force a card and this goes for my other card force videos that I've put um, that I've put up I don't think I've mentioned this you wanna have the right attitude okay you can't have like a squeamish little wimpy attitude like oh, okay that's your card you know you gotta be like alright just tell me when to stop tell me when to stop don't mind that card it fell tell me when to stop we don't need it tell me when to stop and they say stop alright that's your card check it out now I want you to shuffle it you just go into it okay have the appropriate attitude to force a card on someone okay so that was the Hindu shuffle um, force or the Hindu force thanks for watching